Trick or treat. Get off my doorstep. We're not in America. There's nothing wrong with adopting a bit of American culture. All right, get off my doorstep or I'll shoot you. <laughs> Going out, not staying in, just hanging around with my head in a spin. But there is no need to scream and shout. We're not going out. We are not going out. Howdy, partner. How do, pet? <laughs> pet? That's a bit northern. All right, how do, chicken? Hardly your equal if you're calling her a chicken. Mm, big chicken? No. Captain chicken? No. Cock? No. no. <laughs> right, Doofus Nuts, start cleaning. We're expecting a visitor. Who? Someone called Nikki. Ooh, Nikki. <laughs> Nikki Nacky Nocky New. Short for Nicker Less, I hope. Sure is. He's a 14 year old boy. Thanks for not stopping me. <laughs> His mum and dad are friends of mine, and they're going to a wedding in the Caribbean. <sighs> Sounds horrendous. Why? It'll be beautiful. No, I mean the way you pronounce Caribbean. <laughs> anyway, they've asked me to look after him for a few days. We can't have a kid staying here. Why not? Because he'll wet the bed and smell of biscuits. Well, you'll have a lot in common then, won't you? <laughs> I'm awful with kids. No, you're not. You're awful with people, including kids. <laughs> Where's he going to sleep? In your room. You're sleeping on the sofa. Gone? I'm not paying you rent every month. Actually, I'm not, am I? <laughs> be on your own. You'll be sharing the sofa with Nikki's dog. You're joking. I'm allergic to dogs. Whoops! You're confusing the words dog and job again. Such a sarcastic old job. <laughs> I'm not kidding. It's a real allergy. What is with you, English? You're allergic to everything. Nuts, wheat, bath water. <laughs> you Americans are quite lucky like that. You lot seem to be able to eat everything. <laughs> Anyway, you don't want a dog staying here. The meat eaters. They won't appreciate your homemade vegan snacks like I do. That's dog food. Orange white tasted. All right for a change. All right, fine. The dog can stay where he is if your allergies are that bad. I will just have to go over and visit him. But can you please make an effort with Nikki? I never know what to say to kids. Hello, would you like a balloon? You don't know many 14-year-olds, do you? He's probably into hardcore gangster rap. All right. Yo, do you want a balloon, you mother... Don't! Hey, look what I found in the street. A young, stray pup looking for a place to stay. Can we keep him? I think we should have him put down. <laughs> I'm joking. Skin. <laughs> You're not joking, though, are you? You hate dogs. Hey, we don't use the word hate in this house. It's just that Lee has dog issues. Doggy shoes. <laughs> dog issues. All right, I thought you meant, like, hush puppies. <laughs> I see what you mean. Dogs make him all coffee and sneezy, and his eyes start watering. What, like a little girl? I bet you have tons of stuff in common. Like what? I don't know. What do you like doing? Nothing. There you go. That's the start. <laughs> right. Who thinks veggie burgers are a good idea? Cows. <laughs> Take a seat. So, what are you into, Nikki? Don't know. Still at school? Yeah. Cool. You got a girlfriend? No. It's a shame. Some girl's missing out on the chat of a lifetime. <laughs> Do you like jokes? No. Ken Dodd died today. Did he? No, Doddy. <laughs> right, forget the old jokes. Do you like football? Bit. Great. Who do you support? Not the same team as you. You don't know that. I support England. <laughs> Who do you support? Germany. <laughs> Great team, Germany. Do you remember them in Euro 96? What summer that was, eh? The booze, the sun, the atmosphere. I was three. The rusks, the milk, the potty training. <laughs> Should we put some music on? What have you got? Coldplay? Loser. All right. Snoop Doggy Dog. Depends what you like. White people moaning or black people swearing. <laughs> I'm surprised you like Snoop Doggy Dog. Doesn't he make you coffee and sneezy? Look, Nicky. 
I know you probably think we haven't got anything in common, right? But we have. I like a bit of happy slapping myself. <laughs> so, if we all just put a bit of E to the F to the foot... <laughs> ..effort... <laughs> ..I think you'll find we've got a lot more in common than you'd actually imagine. Holding back the... <laughs> Nikki, what do you want to do tonight? Nothing. Come on, there must be something. All right, what don't you like doing? Eating garlic and looking at crosses. <laughs> I'm off to the pub. Hang on, I thought we were going to do something together. There's no I in team spirit. Yeah, there is, there's two. <laughs> well, I meant there's no I in teamwork. Come on, stay here, get to know Nikki. There's no F in way. <laughs> I want to go to the pub. You're not old enough. Yeah, sorry. No goths allowed. <laughs> Unless you're a guide goth for the blind. <laughs> anyway, pubs are for losers. My dad takes me to the pub. Sorry, I didn't mean pubs. I meant heroin. <laughs> right, let's all go to the pub. Tim will be there. Let's not all go to the pub. Why? Because Auntie Kate hates Uncle Tim. Hate? Sorry, Auntie Kate wants to kill Uncle Tim. <laughs> All right, I have an idea. Why don't you take Nikki to the pub? I'll go check on the dog. Have a nice time. Right, are you ready, Dracula? Or do you want to put some more mascara on? <laughs> Can you buy me some cigarettes? You're joking, aren't you? You know how much they cost in here? <laughs> I don't like it in here. It's probably because it's happy hour. <laughs> it's boring. Well, not for much longer. Here's an accountant. <laughs> what have I told you about hanging around adolescents? It's a new business venture. Call me Fagin. I wasn't talking to you. <laughs> this is my best mate, Tim. Best only is a fine line. Now, well, Timothy, the wit of Oscar Wilde and the success with women of a Premier League footballer. <laughs> oh, hang on. It's the other way around. <laughs> Nicky, we're looking after him for a few days. We? Me and Kate. Oh, me and Kate, that's interesting. No, it's not, it's boring. <laughs> He's a son of a friend of Kate's. <laughs> How old are you, Nicky? 14. 14, eh? Difficult age. Too old for kid stuff, too young to be treated like the young adult you actually really are. Exactly. Have you met Claire Rayner? <laughs> your auntie spitting on a handkerchief, wiping dirt off your face. But you're so confused, you just want to stare at her bosoms and listen to Judas Priest albums. You know you said that out loud, don't you? You like Judas Priest? Yeah, I love a bit of old school metal. Priest, Black Death, Internal Hemorrhage. The Internals? I love them. Decay of the Pig, Reign of Eros. I am the Dark Wake, she's not my pendulum. My first is in teacup, but not in mackerel. What are you on about? <laughs> I've got all their albums. Slay the Innocent. I love that one. Burning the Churches. Brilliant. Killing accountants. I prefer the early stuff. <laughs> I've got everything apart from Slippery Virgins. Yeah, it's virtually impossible to get hold of Slippery Virgins. <laughs> Is this a dream? <laughs> it's just great meeting another Internals fan. Can I get you a shandy? No, you can't. My dad lets me. Yeah, well, I'm not your dad, and neither is he, despite the fact that he dresses like one. <laughs> so you can talk. Uh, excuse me, this is 70s retro. <laughs> and it's not. Retro means you're trying to dress like the 70s. You look like you've been wearing that since the 70s. <laughs> That's different. Yeah. You haven't really got the right shaped face for that shirt. Makes you look like a 1940s greengrocer. <laughs> you know, Ted, we haven't known each other very long, but there's something I've been meaning to ask you. Would you ever consider being a vegetarian? <laughs> Do you have any idea what's in dog food? The mechanically recovered eyes, gristle, and lips of dead animals. That doesn't sound very nice now, does it? <laughs> Do you know how long it stays in your intestines for? A week. That's seven weeks in dog weeks. I know you're probably thinking, Kate, how can I convert to being a vegetarian? My ancestors were scavenging wolves. Well, I did it. My ancestors were Scottish. 
So what's it gonna be, big fella? A fine, nutritional, all-natural carrot? Or a nasty, horrible, smelly piece of dead pig's carcass? <laughs> Aha, gotcha. That wasn't actually real bacon. That was a meat-free soy protein substitute. <laughs> nice, huh? Kate. Where's Lee? I do not want to hear that he went off and left Nikki with you. What if I write it down? <laughs> Is Lee in trouble? Let's just say that when Lee gets back, he's going to be in a bit of hot water. Well, that'll be a first. <laughs> nice one. Oh, you two obviously hit it off. Haven't seen him laugh like that since I picked him up. Except when I asked him what was in his fanny pack. Well, I just remember what it was like to be that age. No one taking you seriously. Your mum telling you not to dye your hair black. Did she tell you to make your hair fall out? Yeah. Yeah, well, she was right. <laughs> I often wonder what it'd be like for you and me, you know, if we'd have had a young'un. You did have a young'un. She was called Emma. <laughs> she was 23. I'll see you later. Nikki, it's total bedlam. She's not my pendulum. You're always good with kids, I'll give you that. You see, for me, looking after a kid is a bit like training a dog. They respond a lot better if they're having a bit of fun. Imagine you've got a choice. Going outside, playing fetch with a rubber ball, or being hit by a rolled up newspaper. Ask yourself this. What's it gonna take to stop you weeing all over the living room carpet? <laughs> Hello. You all right? Am I all right? Don't know, I asked you first. <laughs> no, I'm not all right. Take a guess what's wrong with me. Problems downstairs? <laughs> You're the one with problems upstairs. Ooh, a bit offensive. <laughs> Nikki was your responsibility and you left him. Anything could have happened. Like what? Do you read the newspapers? You'd have to read the bits I look at. <laughs> he could have been kidnapped. What, by Tim? What was he going to demand? Some cucumber sandwiches and a helicopter to Eastbourne? You need to make more of an effort with Nicky. <sighs> I tried, but he was too busy talking to Tim about heavy metal. Felt like banging their heads together. As it happens, Iron Maiden came on the jukebox. They accidentally did it themselves. <laughs> no, you've got to remember what it's like going through puberty, you know? Your body changing shape, the insecurity, crying yourself to sleep at night because Bradley Jackson wants to kiss all the other cheerleaders but not you. I really was confused, wasn't I? Please, just do it for me. Okay, I'll try. But he's such a miserable little... Whoa, Nicky, word up. <laughs> Have you got any chocolate? Chocolate? Who needs chocolate when you've got pumpkin seeds? Wow, with your dried pulses and old bits of bird seed, you spoil us, Ambassador. <laughs> Don't worry, I've got some chocolate hobnobs under my bed. You did have. Don't worry, I left the other stuff. I'm guessing Kate wasn't happy with you leaving Nicky with me. What was the problem? You're an accountant approaching middle age who thinks that claiming a cheese sandwich on your expenses is taking a walk on the wild side. I'm not approaching middle age. Sim, you've always been middle age. You were born middle age. For you, life really did begin at 40. <laughs> It's better than life beginning in a thresher's car park in Chorley. My dad's car broke down. <laughs> it's a problem with leaving a 14-year-old on his own. I was always on my own when I was 14. Yeah, that's chimney sweeping for you. <laughs> the thing is, all Nicky needs is a bit of attention, understanding and respect. You forgot about tobacco, mascara and the ascension of the Antichrist. <laughs> no, you're not that great with kids. Remember last Christmas on that train? Those kids messing about, the parents at the wit's end. What did you say? Father Christmas doesn't visit the bad children. How was I to know they were Orthodox Jews? <laughs> the big black hats, the ringlets. The point is with Nicky, you've got to make a connection by compromising and being selfless. 
Suppose I could buy him a present. Or you could ignore everything I've said and just throw money at the problem. <laughs> I wonder if I could get my hands on slippery virgins. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm not going to do an Emma joke. Wouldn't make sense anyway. She's hardly what you call slippery. What's that supposed to mean? Well, she's quite easy to get hold of, wasn't she? And I don't just mean metaphorically. She wasn't fat. She was... jolly. Yeah, jolly fat. <laughs> you tell him that she wasn't cross-eyed. She wasn't cross-eyed. Well, she must have had something very interesting on the end of her nose. <laughs> All right, I admit she wasn't a stunner, but she had something about her. She had the X factor. Yeah, that's why Kate's your ex, cos you're factor. <laughs> That's all in the past. It's behind me now. It was just a... Midlife crisis? It's hardly a midlife crisis. Having a fling is not the same as buying a Harley Davidson or a Fender Stratocaster. How are the guitar lessons going? She's going quite well, actually, yeah. <laughs> At the moment, I'm learning some dire straits, high-speed solos. <laughs> in fact, that's where I should be now. I'll see you later. Kate, Ken Dodd died today. Did he? No, Doddy. <laughs> Sorry, Doddy. How did he die? It's a joke. Oh. Who's Ken Dodd? Forget it. What are you playing? Resident Evil? It's a car game. Sorry, I'll start again. Are you playing a car game, Resident Evil? <laughs> How are you getting on? I'm on level 28. Wow, they get bigger and bigger, these multi-storey car parks. <laughs> What's it called? Carjacker. Oh, I used to love that when I was a kid. It's Friday! It's five to five! Oh, that's Crackerjack. <laughs> what do you have to do? Steal cars, kill cops, pick up whores. Oh, a bit different from Crackerjack, then. All you had to do in that was pop balloons and stick a cabbage between your knees. <laughs> Bet your generation have never even heard of Pac-Man. Isn't that the bloke who presents Newsnight? Mickey, I've uh, bought you a little present. Slippery virgins. Wicked. Where'd you get it? Ah, oh, I spent the afternoon rootling around in second-hand vinyl stores. I've never seen so many jeans with elasticated waistbands. It's <laughs> really cool. Thanks, Lee. Oh, I can still move it with the kids. Touch me. Get over here and spin me. I'm all right once I get going. Fancy a bit of carjacking? Yeah, why not? I love horse. Cars. I heard Tim's got a BMW 5 Series. Yeah, well, you know what they say. The bigger the car, the smaller your willy. I've got a Mini. That's why you have to drive a really big car. <laughs> Ted, it's only a little bit of hummus. Oh, I know you're a big guy, but some of the biggest animals in the world are vegetarians. Cows, elephants, bears. Actually, only koala bears. And they're not really even bears. They're big hamsters. Okay. How about a nice piece of marrow bone? Would you like that? <laughs> Just like a real bone. Only it's a nice piece of fresh marrow shaped into a bone. Okay. Maybe I can tempt you to use it for a little game of fetch. That's it. Go and get your bone. Then I'll take you for a nice banana wheatgrass smoothie, my little vegan friend. <laughs> Thanks for letting me have a shandy. That's all right. Just don't tell Kate. I don't think Americans understand British pub culture. In fact, that sentence would make sense if you got rid of the words British and pub. <laughs> I was listening to the internals in the bedroom again this morning. Oh, is that what it was? I thought someone was throwing a bag of kittens against the wall. <laughs> <laughs> I can burn the album for you if you want. Uh, it's a bit of a racket, but I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> it's not really your thing, is it? No, but it's not supposed to be. We're a different generation. I mean, would you wear this jacket? Not really. I think it's a bit boring. Of course you do. And so you should. 
you like my shirt? No. See, that's the idea. And your haircut's mean. Don't push it. <laughs> See, you're supposed to be a rebellious teenager still discovering himself. Is that a joke about... No. <laughs> and I'm supposed to be a boring old curmudgeon stuck in a boring old job with a boring old car in a boring old relationship. You haven't got a job, though. Yeah, well, I'm between jobs at the moment. Or a car. Well, I'm between cars. <laughs> or a girlfriend. Yeah, well, I'm between... Actually, I'm not, am I? That's the problem. <laughs> You're better off without girls, anyway. Oh, having a few problems, are we? You can tell me. I'm a bit of an expert on the old tea-making gender. <laughs> Come on. I won't take the mick. Well, there is one girl I like. Yeah? What's her name? Vampira. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I can't help myself, it's like an illness. Carry on. <laughs> she's called Sarah, and she's really good looking, but it's complicated. It's never complicated, ever. Sometimes you've just got to ask people straight. You'll be surprised how often the answer's yes. Can my dog come to the flat? No. <laughs> I'm talking about when it comes to women. You've got to just ask her. Even if she's my best mate's ex. <sighs> OK, maybe you're right. Maybe you should forget it. <laughs> I suppose it's a bit like what's happening at your flat, isn't it? Hello, Mr. Observant. It's obvious, isn't it? I reckon they should be together. Tim and Kate? Yes, I know, Tim and Kate. But it's complicated. I thought it was never complicated. Yeah, well, I just said that to make you feel better. <laughs> Life's horribly unfair and then you drop dead. <laughs> well, I think you're wrong. Yeah, well, I think you're 14. <laughs> We're not going to get back together. Like the internals say, ignore the naysayers. When was this album written? 1760? <laughs> just realised something. What, that wearing eyeliner makes you look like an ugly girl? <laughs> you fancy Kate? No, I don't. We're just friends. <laughs> the interns have got a song about denial as yeah, well. Yeah, well, I don't care. You can't live your life by heavy metal lyrics, otherwise you'll end up taking your daughter to the slaughter. Now, can we drop it? <laughs> All right. <laughs> Curly's going to be well jealous when he finds out I've got the album. Who's Curly? He's my best mate. We call him that because he's got really straight hair. <laughs> What's your nickname, the Suntan Kid? <laughs> you're funny. Thanks. No, that'd be your nickname if you were at our school. <laughs> Can you ask him to turn that down? Silly, that can cause serious damage. Yeah, stupid. The brand new, those headphones. <laughs> Is that your new album, Nikki? Yeah, I was just listening to a song called My Mistake. Sounds like it could be about you and Tim. Well, you can read anything to lyrics if you really try. Well, actually, the full title is My Mistake, brackets, I left you for another, I'm a silly old accountant, if only you could get over my mistakes with Emma. Close brackets. That's actually quite clever. Brackets, you little shit. Close brackets. <laughs> Do you still think about him? Sometimes, when I'm cutting sausages. Do you still fancy him? Only grown-ups can ask questions like that. All right. Do you still fancy him? Only grown-ups can ask questions like that. Did you ever phone him? No. Well, except for the other day at work. I wanted to thank him for the dog insight he gave me. Tim knows a site for dogging. Dog insight, insight into dogs. What's dogging? It's when you say your dog jogging. And I wanted to thank him for looking out for Nicky when, you know, you abandoned him. Yeah, alone and hungry. But Tim saved the day. Look, what you're doing is really sweet, but Tim and I are like two comets flying through the universe, and... We're just on different trajectories in the solar system. If this carries on, can I tell you about an ex-girlfriend I had called Haley, who only came once every 76 years? <laughs> well, I think you should give him another chance. Nicky? What I said in the pub was right, wasn't it? What did he say in the pub? Nothing. Come on, share it with the group. I said... He was doing doorbell impressions. He's good, isn't he? <laughs> Do you want 
I see something really weird? It's not the same problem that Christopher Lee had in that James Bond film, is it? <laughs> Open that door. Evening all. All right, Tim. What are you doing? Oh, you know, just walking around the streets trying to scare deaf people. <laughs> Actually, what a surprise for you. <laughs> now, look at that. It's like Lassie Come Home, <laughs> if it had been directed by Tim Burton. <laughs> Thanks, Tim. Don't thank me, much as I'd like to take credit for it. It was Lee's idea. Uh, I just thought it'd be nice for Nicky if the dog stayed with us for a while. Took the keys out of your bag so it'd be a surprise. I had a couple of those fig rolls whilst I was in there. Those are dog biscuits. <laughs> Aren't you worried he's gonna make you all coffee? Well, that's a hell of a dog. <laughs> After he's done that, you can come back to mine and do the ironing. <laughs> well, I better go. Thanks, Tim. How much do I owe for the taxi? Nothing. My payment is in here. Seeing a glowing smile on a small child's face. A tenor. <laughs> yes, 7 0 to the Arsenal. <laughs> and you've got the best team. Did Bristol Rovers really win the Champions League? <laughs> Trust me, I wouldn't lie to you. Thanks again for what you did. It was really nice of you agreeing to have Ted here. I don't think they should have called him Ted. They should have called him Hamlet. Why? Because of that old joke. You know, he's a great dade. That doesn't make sense. Hamlet wasn't a dog. <laughs> Do you mean Beethoven? Do you ever get jokes? Yeah, I do, actually. Dottie died today. Ken Dodd. Did he? 